Hi guys, for this video we're going to be discussing about who holds the biggest threat to Mo Farah defending his 5000 meter title for the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics. So guys, on my list who's, um, who really have beaten Mo Farah's personal best of uh, 12.53 are uh, the four Ethiopian runners and then one Ugandan runner namely Joshua Cheptegei where although Joshua Cheptegei wasn't able to really beat the personal best of Mofara but I've included him in the list because he can run a 53 seconds last lap if I think that if it's going to be a tactical race Joshua Cheptegei can really go the distance. Well, let's revisit first the Rio Olympics way back 2016 for where Mo Farah really defended his uh, 2012 title for the 5000 meter race where he outsprinted everyone and beating Chilimo Haggis Gribouet to the last straight. And also let's visit the last um, 5000 meter race where Mo Farah had on tracks was held at London on 2017 and here we can see that the three Ethiopian runners really had a very good tactics here where their strategy really worked and they have beaten Mo Farah in the 5000 meter race so Yumi Kujocha was uh, sprinting since the last lap and you can see UMF Kukijocha is really checking out Mo Farah from time to time but Mokhtar Edris was able to outsprint everyone here where he finished at 12.32 and having a 53 seconds last lap and Mokhtar Edris is giving a Mobot respect to Mo Farah for his last race and also some of the runners was really giving respect to Mo Farah for his last race bidding farewell to him but I thought this was his last race as well but I was surprised guys that he made an announcement last year that he's going to go back to the Started tracks and then will defend his title the for the uh, 5000 really meter races and 10,000 meter race so before that guys let's revisit each and everyone's personal best. Let's move first to Mo Farah of course and we're here we can see that he really out sprinted Bernard Lagarde and finished a 12.53 personal best held at Monaco, Italy. As for the three Ethiopian runners namely Salomon Barrega, Yomif Kujolcha and Hagas Gebruwe they were able to had their personal best at Brussels way back 2018 to August where Suleiman Barrega finished a 12.43 5000 meter race which made him the fourth fastest runner for the 5000 meter race and Gabriel Wett finished 12.45 here and Yomif Kujota 12.46 As for the fourth Ethiopian runner Mokhtar Address, he was able to have a personal best of 12.54 in the 5000 meter race where he had it at Stockholm, Sweden way back 2014 to Vargas where he outweighs everyone. <laughs> Look at his face. As for Joshua Chattagari guys, um, he was able to get his personal base at uh, Zurich, Switzerland last August 2019 where he clocked in around 12.57 for the 5000 meter race. and. This was also his season's best for the year of 2019. Let's re also check out the season's best of each of the Ethiopian runners that we mentioned earlier. Both Salomon Barrega and Haggis Gebruet was able to finish their season's best at Rome, Italy. Although um, Salomon Barrega wasn't able to finish first here where Taylor Home Bikele outsprinted him in the last 30 meters of the race. He was able to finish a 12.53 and as for Haggis Gebruet, he finished a 12.54 race. And as for Mokhtar Idris guys, he really outsprinted 
Suleiman Barrega in the Doha 2019 uh, World Championships where he was able to clock in a 12.58 and as you can see he really defended his 5000 meter 2017 title. Last but not least let's go to Yume Kijolcha where in this race at Lausanne, Switzerland where I thought Haggis Gerberwet will be winning this race but he stopped at the last lap where he thought he already won the race but Yomif Kijolcha was able to take a full advantage of that mistake of Haggis Gerberwet where he clocked in a 13 minutes for the 5000 meter race and let's now move back to the question whether who's going to be the biggest threat for the 5000 meter race for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics where my bad guys would be really Salomon Barrega of the Ethiopian runner as you can see he was able to clock in a 12.43 beating everyone in their personal best and also he can run a 53 seconds last lap so I don't see Mo Farah really winning this race at all because he'd been focusing on the half marathon and also the full marathon improving his time there but he wasn't able to race in the 2019 uh, races on track let me know what your thoughts on this and also who's your bet winning the 5000 meter race for the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics so guys hope you enjoyed this video and then if you do enjoy this video please do click that like button and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet of course guys please do hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification as well and guys thank you again for watching my video this is Talking Chinoy signing out